Hey guys, Brian here from Five to Go. We're here with uh, one of our brand new Roadrunners. We're on our summer caravan here with Caleb, and uh, he has done some awesome stuff with his brand new rig. This is a 2021 Grand Design Momentum 395 mm -hmm. MS. Um, it's a beautiful rig, it's brand new. This is the first place they've had it set up. Yep. And uh, it is a full toy hauler, but they've done a lot of work, made a kid's room and turned the back into a bedroom and an office for, for him and his wife and mm -hmm. other awesome stuff like that. So we're gonna pop in this thing here. Uh, we gotta go past that gaudy yellow thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> It is a toy hauler though, so he's using it properly. Mm -hmm. So let's, we're gonna head in to the back and we're gonna work our way forward and save the kids room for last. So let's head back that way. Okay, so real quick, I just wanna give a, a outside view of these porches. Uh, porches on toy haulers are awesome. It's actually the ramp that you use to load stuff in and out and you can get them in a porch configuration where they come with a, a wire. And those wires, these porches hold how many pounds? That's a great question. I don't know yet. You as don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot. So. As, long, as long as it can hold the motorcycle and I don't fall over on it. You yeah. Know, we're, we're good. Yeah. So it's a, uh, it's handy. So it will go down as a full ramp, uh, but it is in porch mode. It does have an awning up top. I'm assuming there's a light strip on the awning. There is. There is. All right. And uh, then it's got sliding glass doors in there, which we'll show in just a second. Yep. So let's go ahead and head in the rear entry here and check out your office slash master bedroom. All right, so in here, so you have the combo washer dryer unit, Yep. which is nice. So there is an option to have a half bath there. There is, but the half bath takes up about this much space and requires an ex a second black tank on this side. Right. And that wasn't something I wanted to have to deal with. So with this scenario, we only have uh, two gray tanks and one black tank over on that end. Okay. So, yeah. so you just have the one full bath for the whole rig. We just have the one full bath for the whole rig. Right. Uh, you know. Which could be bad at times, but <laughs> no, generally you'll be fine. okay. You'll be fine. I think half baths, more often than not, mm -hmm. are a waste of space. This is a nice use of the space. There's no extra walls. So you have storage up here, a TV up here, and then you have your little network cabinet up here. Yep. And the door to the front, and the, uh, the ladies are up there with the kids at the moment. And then the really cool thing that I wanted to show all you guys is this desk that he has manufactured. So yeah. why don't you walk us through it? So this is the Happy Jack system that comes with these models. And uh, it turns out if you just unscrew the couches, you can just take them off. And I took the top of a Jarvis desk and set it on top of where the couch used to be, okay. screwed that in, and the measurements came out almost perfect. It doesn't reach all the way to the door, and it doesn't bump up against the all-season doors. And uh, the odd thing is, when this is at working height, the couch is not. Yeah. Um, that's that's annoying. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit annoying, but at the same time, you get a beautiful view working back here. Yeah. Um, you'd have to add an extra light because the, all the lights on this side are blocked by the queen bed. Oh, this is true. Yeah, yes. so there are ceiling lights, but they're up there. Exactly. And so that's not very um, useful. Aside from that, that's pretty much the only mod I did over here was swapping out one Happy Jack for the Jarvis desktop. Um, that and drilling a hole through my wall right there. Right. Uh, Actually, no, we'll patch up later. So what do you have hiding up there? Hiding up there, I have a 40 terabyte Synology NAS, uh, Pi Hole, Raspberry Pi, um, uh, and a couple of other pieces of network equipment, including uh, a PepLink Duo, okay. to have multiple SIM card connections. So yep. I have four SIM cards in there right now. Wow. Uh, just working on the road. Two of them are resellers, others are first party, and resellers come and go all the time. Yeah. So I want to ensure that. That's something to fall back on. Yeah, exactly. Fall awesome. backs. Um, all right. But yeah. Uh, so just to show this a little bit better. So this is the stock rail mm -hmm. that the other couch was sitting on top of, and then you just bolted the desk right to I it. I did, screwed it right in. Nice. And then I guess presumably, because it is on a Happy Jack system, if you wanted that higher or lower. Yeah, so for instance, could. if we wanted to, if I wanted to have a standing desk for the day, just lift this up a tad. But that goes with it. Yeah, so the couch <laughs> always goes with it. But at this point, you can roll away the chair. Yeah and uh, you know, work standing. That's awesome, man. I yeah. love that. Thanks. Did you see someone else do that or did it just uh, pop into your head? I watched uh, Chad and Tara's video okay. on changing lanes yeah, changing and lanes. thought I could do something similar to that. Okay. And uh, it's not quite exactly the same, but I, I really like it. Nice. Yeah, they've done some cool stuff with their rig. All right, let's show the porch real quick from outside. Um, and then this is an awning that just slides out. Uh, it does appear to be pre-wired for a backup camera. While we're out here, I don't see a truck. 
Yeah, so this is the <laughs> special limited edition unobtainium Ford Expedition. Oh, pulls 50,000 nice. pounds downhill nice. very quickly. On the roof. Yeah, yeah. on the roof. Okay. <laughs> um, well, we had it towed here with the silicon shortage. Our F-350 Dually was ordered in February and will not be here till the second week of July. Wow. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but the good news is we get to live in it now. We had it towed here. Yeah. Yeah, this, it's nice. Yeah. There are services that do that. And uh, I, I did get a kick out of... That's a nuclear power plant. <laughs> yeah, it, it right is. Right across the street. <laughs> and there's also a monthly alarm that'll scare the bejesus out of you. Nice. Every, yep. uh, every so often. Sounds like an air raid siren, yeah. doesn't it? it yeah. It's pretty terrifying. <laughs> all right, so you got an F-350 dually on, on order. Mm -hmm. That will absolutely pull this beast. So. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, let's work our way forward and check out the living room and kitchen. All right, sounds good. All right, so coming into the living room, uh, we've got a kid's area here, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, but we will start over here. That's the stock couch. Everything on this side is stock, right? Yep. Everything have, on this side is all stock. Haven't done anything fancy over here yet. Uh, we were just lamenting the the lack of a hole. Yeah. Anywhere on this surface leading up from anywhere else. So this this looked like it would have been a great you know viable area for Apple TVs and switches and Playstations, yeah. but. But there's no way to get a cable there's up there no to way. the TV. There's no way to get a cable to the TV, and I'm uncomfortable drilling through this. Yeah, so that's... Nintendo Switch lives over here. Yeah, that's okay. But if you have like an Xbox or a PlayStation, it would yeah. it would have to be out here because it's it's the only place mm -hmm. big enough. So that's that's kind of an, an oversight, I would it's say. Just a little bit, yeah. but the uh, the Bluetooth speaker system makes up for it. It's even turned up to five percent is decently loud. Okay. Um, so I don't want to turn it up all the way here, but when we're at our family's house, yeah. I'm cranking this thing up just okay. to see what it can do. Yeah. Um, it's also, is there a drawer behind the, behind the fireplace? fireplace? No. Well, what are these cutouts? There is oh, a, there's controls, the controls, heat vent. Heat, colors. It's just a dummy, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It look, kind of looked like a handle. Another thing I'm noticing, if you wanted to put a sound bar, there's really nowhere to put it. Not a lot of room to put it, no. And huh. the, the TV takes up most of the space. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too fond of the Roku TVs that are pre-installed, so I might end up with more room later. Right. Um, but as okay. it stands now, no. Yeah. Okay, so we've got normal storage up in there, mm -hmm. uh, and then since you guys only have one youngin' right now, yep. uh, that's all just basically storage up there. Correct. So you have quite a lot of storage for two we adults do. and a child. Which, uh, <laughs> it comes in handy because the basement is so incredibly small. Yeah. It's like a three and a half by four foot cubic area. And yeah, that's, it's, it's practically nothing. That's rough. A lot of the fifth wheels have really bad outside storage. Um, see, do these recline? These do. These both recline? Yeah. We've got these the handle right here. Okay, so it's not the electric ones. No, they're, they're pull handles. Yeah. Uh, just I'm not saying you have to, but you know you can take that plastic off, right? Oh, yeah. No, okay. I, uh, that's the only thing that we you had, should... We had ours on there for a while, yeah. and then we were like, wait, this is perforated. Oh, yeah. And it just rips right off. <laughs> some labels on the stove we haven't managed to get up cleanly yeah. yet, so, you yeah. know. Well, it's like my brother still has things on his DVD player from, mm -hmm. you know, 20 years ago. I know. The first thing I did is she <clears> bought a, a new Instant Cooker, uh, Instant Pot. Yeah. And there was still a still little transparent peel on it. <laughs> it just didn't feel so good to pull that yes. off. Yes, yes. All right, so before we get into the kitchen, let's talk about uh, kids area number one. Yeah, so this area was Thomas Paine theater seating at right. first, yep. and we're not going to need it. We yep. used this L couch right here. Yeah, plus, who wants to watch a TV from the side? From, from this yeah. side? Yeah, absolutely nobody. <laughs> uh, so we took those out and put them in storage along with the Happy Jack couch that I took out. And now there's a humongous play area, which I know you consider bringing books hauling dead tree stumps. That's not that many. That's I've not seen, that many I've seen people with bookshelves of oh, books. Oh, no. No, yeah, thank that's, you. That's what uh, Kindles are for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, kids' books. Kids' books, they get yeah. a pass because kids need, you know, tangible, tangible books. Things. Yeah, and he so, enjoys them. So you've just got a couple little baskets of books here mm -hmm. and a whiteboard yep. with magnets. That's great. Yeah, so he, uh, where does where does this stuff go when you're underway? That's a great question. We haven't been underway yet, so I that's can't true. answer that. Okay, so in <laughs> theory, where are you going to put it when you're underway? Uh, that's a great question that uh, my wife would be able to answer, um, <laughs> gotcha. and I cannot. Got it, got it. So it's just a stock table with that little drop leaf on the end? Yeah. Um, okay. That's about it. And then you guys, you also have three dogs, right? We do have three dogs. Okay, so I see one of the crates over there. Yeah, this is uh, this is a small one for the smallest dog. He gets okay. the most uppity. He's an old man. He's crotchety. Gotcha. Um, do the other two stay in crates as well? The other two don't generally stay in crates. Okay. They're, they're really good dogs. Gotcha. Um, and traveling with three dogs, you know, it's yeah. uh, it's fun. <laughs> uh, it's it's it keeps, actually is fun. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. So let's talk about kitchens for a second. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron and I have been in a lot of toy haulers and a lot of fifth wheels, and the kitchens tend to be the afterthought, especially in toy haulers. Yeah. No so you know, you looked. I thought that all of the momentum kitchens were eh. You're mostly right. Yeah. <laughs> this one's nice though. I don't know. Is this a new model? New ish? I think you know? this floor plan only came out in the past uh, year or two. Okay. It's it's pretty recent from okay. what I remember. Because I know yeah. that I have never been in this floor plan before. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this kitchen. So you have an island out here with a sink. Mm -hmm. That little notch over there is the, when the slide comes in, that slides in yeah. over the counter. Mm -hmm. So obviously nothing can be affixed there. But right. Also, great place for shoes, by the way. Thank you. That was my wife's idea. Fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much all shoes. Yeah. Um, so you've got a little island with the sink out here. Uh, the fridge is over here. This is not a residential fridge. No, it's not. This it's, is a dual uh, fuel. Yeah. Um, and you've got, I see a water bowl down there. Yep, for the dogs. Okay, and then we've got a couple drawers, a couple cabinets over here. Oh, there's an outlet. There right. is. Right, so outlet here, because you will be using appliances in this area. Is there and one on that side too? And there's also two outlets on this side. And then over here, we've got a, one of the, the bigger, the newer, bigger onion, or onions. <laughs> <laughs> That's an oven, actually. It's a big onion. That's a very big onion. Um, yeah, so this is not like the other older propane ovens where basically the bottom third is unusable. So these are much larger. This is a new, pretty new-ish line by, oh, the sticker's still on it. Yep, it's I insignia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so that's nice, big four huge burners. So yes. nice backsplash. Did not get the convection oven. We did not. You asked uh, for it, but it didn't come with it. We asked for it, didn't come with it, but they were under a lot of pressure, a lot of orders. Yeah. So we didn't want to be too picky and we're just happy that we got one. Yeah, no, so I, I down the road. If that yeah. breaks, mm -hmm. replace it with a convection. Very nice. Okay, so where do you store food in here? Where is your yeah. pantry? Well, most of the food goes uh, in the fridge, as people tend to do. I don't yeah. know why they do that, but you know, fridges. What about non-fridge food? Uh, non-fridge food Smart goes guy. in, <laughs> <laughs> go in the, the three shelves that are in this cabinet. Okay. Um, and that's generally it. We only tend to buy food about three to four days out gotcha. uh, to keep yeah. the, the space limited yeah. um, and to you know, reduce waste. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's about it. All right, heading up into the bathroom and get a sneak peek in the kids' room there. Uh, so this is a stock bathroom. Got a porcelain foot flush over here, a little sink with a vanity area here. Hello. And uh, then we've got the door that also goes up into the front, which is traditionally the master bedroom, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, three drawers here, a nice little open area. I'm not sure what you would use that for. Um, but this is the new shower that Grand Design is doing. In I think it's just the momentums at the moment. Uh, that's a nice shower head, isn't it? Yes, it's very nice, and you can twist the knob, and it can come out of all three uh, nozzles. It's absolutely dreamy, and I love it more than any <laughs> bathroom I've had in any house I've lived in. Dreamy, nice. I, I love it. And there's also a uh, like a teak little bench that comes down, right? It does. Come down. Oh, yeah, that's real tight. Sticky. Yep, very cool. I like it. Yeah, that's uh, that's nice. That's uh, I like that. All right, that's enough of bathrooms. Let's check out this amazing kids' room that you guys put together. So this yeah. is normally the master bedroom. Yes, it right? normally is. So what did it look like when you first got it? All right, when we first got it, basically imagine the outline of this rug okay. was the entirety of the queen bed. Um, as you can tell, it would take up most of the bedroom, and it did. I thought it was a king. Uh, yeah, sorry, a king. It okay. was a king. Yep. We got the king uh, so that when this is stretched long ways, he has more space. Um, if it was queen, these would be equal with that side, I'm fairly right, certain. Right, so that one, so you'd have a cabinet on both sides rather yeah. than this tiny little one over here. Exactly. So we ordered the, the king to give that more length over there, and then I took out the bed frame completely, which would normally have uh, storage underneath like this. Yep, just to lift up. And uh, yeah, took that out, cut a uh, support right here to go underneath. Okay. Um, and then I took a handsaw, and I cut the mattress by two-thirds to line up with this. Um, and that was pretty much it. Uh, that carpeting was already there, mm -hmm. and it fits these cubes too deep okay. all the way across, so you get tons of extra so storage. So it's just like a little square cube, so, yep. oh wow, so you have 6, mm -hmm. 12, you have 24 cubes in here? Uh, no, no. Uh, that's my math 12. Bad. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do math. Plus there's all this storage in here, and we still use this for clothes. For uh, you guys? For, for us. Oh yeah, so, yeah, there's no storage there's back there. There's, there's no storage in the garage gotcha. for clothes so this is, those Ottomans. this is you guys and then yeah. your son's up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, this and is a, great. This and then is, is this, this is just a bean bag? This is just a bean chair? bag with some blankets and other squishy things in there. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we wanted uh, to hit the road and 
still wanted our son to have his own bedroom. Yeah. Um, and, we, you know, the garage is humongous. We're already in there all the time with work, and there's a queen bed up there. So there's plenty of space. So this is, uh, this is basically it for the foreseeable future. Very cool. That's a great space. And it also gives him a play area, too. Yes, it's a humongous play yeah. area, along with all the books over there in the living room. Alrighty, so that is a very cool Grand Design Momentum 395 MS. Thank you very much, Caleb. Thank you, Brian. I, this is great. I, this room is amazing. Um, I am trying to figure out how you can make it for two or three kids, but that's uh, that might be for a future project. Possibly. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, right. Caleb is a roadrunner, and we are spending our entire summer with as many roadrunners as we can meet. So if you do not know what a roadrunner is, go to 5 togocom slash roadrunners. That's what we call our patrons. And uh, we are sharing our entire summer route with all of them, and they're all going to come camping with us. So uh, we're not actually at this campground. We're just a little ways down the road. But we've been able to get together and go visit some places and have dinner with these guys a few times this week. So yep. that's what we want to do with everybody we can. So if you want to meet up with us this summer, become a roadrunner. You can see our whole route. Come camp with us, and we'll see you on the road. Thanks, guys.